Now in the search for a missing Orlando woman who was last seen about 12 years ago. Investigators telling News 6 they searched a property today that may be connected to the disappearance of Michelle Parker. Parker was last seen in November of 2011, dropping off her twins with their father, Dale Smith Jr. That same day, the couple appeared on a pre-recorded episode of The People's Court, where Parker talked about their sometimes violent relationship. Investigators found her Hummer the next day and a discovered her phone under a bridge a month later. So today, detectives searched the backyard of an Orlando home on Rose Boulevard near Texas Avenue. New 6's Catherine Silver is there with what we know on the findings of that search. Orlando police focused their search at this home on Rose Boulevard Wednesday. They brought in a tent and set up equipment near a concrete slab in the backyard, but say they never found what they were looking for more than a decade after Michelle Parker's disappearance. She went missing in 2011 after appearing on an episode of the People's Court, where she and her ex-fiance, Dale Smith, argued over an engagement ring. Smith's father answered the door at the home where police showed up with a search warrant nearly 12 years later. Do you know what they were looking for in your backyard? A dinosaur. I'm sorry? A dinosaur. He deflected questions about Parker but did say this. I've been looking for her. Why? Because I want to. Orlando police have never named Smith's father as a suspect, but they did say they questioned his son after Parker vanished. Dale Smith Jr. has never been charged in the case. News 6 has followed law enforcement's efforts through the years, looking for evidence in retention ponds and other parts of Orange and Brevard counties. Parker's mother shared her grief as time goes on. My grown kids, they hurt all the time because so much has been taken away from them. And I see it in their faces. Neighbors familiar with the case say they never thought it would bring detectives to their front door years later. It looked like they were just rolling over the grass in the land back there, and then they moved like a big awning. Chris Moore lives across the street. He says it looked like investigators were checking underground. There's a City of Orlando water reclamation vehicle, and they took like a big lawnmower looking thing and then took that back. At this point, it's unclear exactly what Orlando police were looking for in this backyard. Again, they say whatever it was, their search turned up negative results. They continue to ask the public for information on Parker's disappearance. In Orlando, I'm Katherine Silver, getting results, News 6.